Hello everyone, and welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Tuesday, March 19 predict that she will confide in Carly Spencer now that she has left Dex Heller for nearly eliminating Cyrus Renault. Jocelyn discovered that Dex is the type of guy who would kill a vulnerable hospital patient, and she has chosen to end her relationship with him. Carly will provide a fresh viewpoint when Jocelyn briefs her mother on what transpired. That is not a realistic choice, and you are aware of this, Carly says in Tuesday's GH teaser video. Perhaps Carly would support Dex because he couldn't realistically refuse Sonny Corintho's instruction. However, Carly may not believe Jocelyn's claim that she can put Dex in the rearview mirror so swiftly. Carly may agree with Jocelyn's decision to end the relationship, but Joss cannot go on until she has processed her thoughts and accepted this loss. Dex will make a confession to Anna Devane. It appears like Dex will acknowledge to nearly killing Cyrus before demanding that he will pay for it. Of course, Dex may say he acted independently and left Sonny's orders out of his admission. Anna will hear Dex's version of events and decide his destiny soon. John Jagger Cates would then interrogate Brooke Lynn Quartermain at the Quartermain estate as part of the Jason Morgan inquiry, causing her to become agitated. John may cross the line with some statements and charges regarding Sonny, thus Brooke Lynn may strike out, calling John a shame to his badge. Elizabeth Baldwin will also be interrogated once John arrives at GH, but she will deny having had any contact with Jason since his return. Liz will also say that the only thing that counts is the law, which may lead her to believe John's vengeance against Sonny is more important to him. Willow Corinthos will return to the Quartermain boathouse to check on Jason and tell him that introducing Danny Morgan was the worst thing he could have done. Jason will recognize that it was a bad decision for Danny to become involved in all of this, but he will try to make it like if nothing occurred. Jason will contact Diane Miller later this week when the walls close in, and he will finally seek legal assistance. Until then, let's chat about Sonny and his upcoming rendezvous at Bobby's. It appears that Sonny will meet Natalia Ramirez there, so he will preserve a secret for her and maybe listen to a hazy version of her family problems. According to general hospital previews, Sonny will provide Natalia with important advice, but neither of them appears to be aware that their daughters are dating while they engage. Our predictions lead to some unexpected news once the Blaze and Christina Corinthos Davis dots are connected, so stay tuned to watch Natalia and Sonny's reactions. According to the latest general hospital spoilers for Monday, March 18, Jocelyn Jacks will expect answers now that Nina Corinthos has brought to light Dex Heller impersonating as an orderly in Cyrus Renault's room. Dex will admit that Sonny Corinthos instructed him to eliminate Cyrus forever before changing his mind and cancelling the kill. Jocelyn will believe Dex went too far and will be unhappy that Sonny put him in such danger. Dex went over and above for Sonny, which will disappoint Jocelyn in more ways than one. Jocelyn refuses to be with a hitman and breaks up with Dex. Nina will disturb Ava Jerome and Trina Robinson in the gallery during their working hours. Nina will want to speak with Ava, so Trina will grab something in the back room and make herself scarce. After Nina expresses her concerns about the sunny slur in the story that went by her, Ava will soothe her. Sonny is preoccupied with many more important matters than the invader at the moment, so it is not an issue. Even so, Nina will tell Ava about her visit to Dex's place and how she got there because she can't see Sonny. It will be difficult for Nina to be absent from Sonny when he needs her the most, especially given what Dante Falconery has been through. Nina will become emotional and ask for Ava's assistance, putting Ava in yet another difficult predicament. Although Nina will ask Ava to advocate for her, Ava must be cautious about how hard she pushes. That is especially true given Ava's conflicted feelings about Sonny. Ava may possibly be secretly working with John Cates, so she appears to be juggling a lot right now. While Sonny is visiting Dante at GH, Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, 
will surprise him by giving her support and brightening his spirits. Luis Cirillo will try to do the same for Olivia Quartermain, who is unsure whether she should be concerned about Dante's protracted coma or relieved he is still alive. Next, Kevin Collins will have additional information to provide about Dr. Paul Braddock and his history of targeting young black guys, particularly impoverished ones with anger issues. Marshall Ashford will have a better understanding of why his misdiagnosis occurred, allowing him to manage some unpleasant emotions after Kevin offers updates. While Stella Henry meets an unexpected person, Alexis Davis learns more about Diane Miller's prospective appeal of her disbarment ruling. Dex will confess that Sonny Corinthos ordered him to wipe out Cyrus permanently before changing his mind and calling off the hit. Jocelyn will feel like Dex crossed the line in a big way and will be upset over Sonny putting him in that much jeopardy. Dex went further for Sonny than Jocelyn ever expected him to go, so she'll be disappointed in more ways than one. Jocelyn won't be with a hitman and breaks up with Dex. At the gallery, Nina will interrupt Ava Jerome and Trina Robinson during their workday. Since Nina will want to talk to Ava, Trina will take something in the back room and make herself scarce. After Nina shares her concerns about the sunny smear job in the article that slipped by her, Ava will reassure her. Sonny has far more important things on his mind than the invader right now, so it's not an issue. Even so, Nina will fill Ava in on her visit to Dex's apartment and how she went there since she can't see Sonny. It'll be hard for Nina to be apart from Sonny when he needs her most, especially considering what Dante Falconery has been through. Nina will get a little misty-eyed and beg for Ava's help, so Ava will land in another tricky situation. Although Nina will beg Ava to advocate for her, Ava will have to be careful about how hard she pushes. That's especially true since Ava has complex feelings of her own when it comes to Sunny. Ava might even be working with John Cates on the down low, so she's seemingly juggling a lot right now. While Sunny is visiting Dante G.H., Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, will surprise him by showing her support and lifting his spirits. Lois Cerullo will try to do the same for Olivia Quartermain, who won't know whether she should worry about Dante's continued coma or just be glad he's alive. Next, Kevin Collins will have more news to report when it comes to Dr. Paul Braddock and his history of targeting young black men, particularly poor ones with anger issues. Marshall Ashford will get a clearer picture of exactly why his misdiagnosis happened, so he'll process some difficult emotions once Kevin provides updates. While Stella Henry comes face to face with someone surprising, Alexis Davis will learn more about how Diane Miller could potentially get her disbarment decision reversed. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.